December 30th and we are just waking up and I think I hear Eric waking um we have to get dressed because we literally have like 10 minutes before we have someone coming to the house okay let's see good morning you can't hear the TV okay let's see I think it's time for you to get up and put on some pants do you have pants on okay, okay. good morning mm. say good morning look at the camera say good morning good morning good morning okay enjoy your cartoons okay okay all right Okay, so he is watching cartoons. Please excuse the mess everywhere. We just got back in town um, Friday and we did Christmas again on Friday for the for Eric. So um, we're gonna get dressed and we have cleaners coming to clean the house because of course the dogs had a field day while we were gone so um yeah we're gonna do that i'm gonna get myself together excuse my bonnet next time you see me i'll be presentable stay tuned and we're back so um no makeup glasses today so i just got dressed keith is dressed Eric has decided that he wants to watch cartoons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're waiting on the lady to get here now. She's supposed to be doing the cleaning for us. I don't know if we'll be doing anything else. I know Keith is going to work a little bit later. And um, I'm on vacation, so yay me. Um, me and Eric might sit and watch episodes of Downton Abbey later. Or explore the city. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so, see you then. Hi, everybody. So, it's been quite a while since I talked to you last. It's now 2.30. I talked to you this morning at, um, like, 9 o'clock. So, um, the cleaning, the cleaning is done. It looks really nice. It's a beautiful day outside here in southern Louisiana. See? Yeah, so it's really nice outside. Um, Keith is and has been working since this morning. He's coming home in a little while. So, excuse me, nice lighting. So, I am fixing some dinner slash lunch. Keith likes to eat dinner, um, honestly, no later than about 5 o'clock. I actually can go a little bit longer than that. So, I'll show you what I'm making. Okay, so in this bowl, I have some chopped and shredded rotisserie chicken from last night i have some chopped spinach and just a jarred or prepared pesto sauce and what i'm gonna do is this angel hair pasta i'm gonna cook this in some boiling salted water and um once it's done, I'll put the hot pasta on top of this and it will warm the chicken and warm the pesto as well as cook and wilt the spinach down. Once that is done, I'll take these um, Gobani fresh mozzarella cheese snack balls. They're individually wrapped. And I will cut them into half or fourth and put on top and it will melt down and get all ooey and gooey and it'll be delicious yum well Keith just called he's about 15 minutes away so I'm gonna wait to put the pasta on because like I said the pasta takes like 
literally four minutes to cook um so when the pasta gets done we'll have dinner and eric will have his treats that he is asking for and um i don't know if keith is gonna stay home with us or not um he may go back out to work i'm not sure and if not then eric and i will shh if not eric and i will chill at home and watch some tv and i'll watch downton abbey because i binge watched like five episodes last night i'm excited I am obsessed. Thank you, Mindy Minks, for the Downton Abbey reference. I'm obsessed. Um, no. No, hun. Always a parent. That'll be our Monday. So if I don't see you again today, I will see you tomorrow, which will be New Year's Eve. And we are planning to go look at fireworks tomorrow night. So that will be really, really fun. Hey guys, there's Eric back there. Say hey, Eric. Hi. And there's Faith. Hey. We actually came to Best Buy because I need a handheld tripod for vlogging. So um, we're going to do that and then we're going to go back home. And Keith is going back to work. So um, he came home to eat. So <laughs> he is going back to work. And me and Eric will just chill out at the house. Ain't that right, babe? Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Good morning. It is December 31st, which is New Year's Eve. I cannot believe 2019 is almost over. There's babe. Good morning, babe. Good morning. Good morning. And Eric is... Good morning, Eric. So, um, we are actually on the way to Keith's doctor's appointment. Um, I cannot believe that there's a doctor who is scheduling appointments on New Year's Eve, but we're on our way to Keith's doctor's appointment. We have to be there at 9.30. It is about 9 o'clock right now, so we should be on time. And later on today, I have to edit um, an assumptions video that will be up. You will have seen by now because it will be up Wednesday. Hold on, baby. It will be up Wednesday. And um, I'm going to edit another video, a story time video, on how we met and how we became the engaged couple we are today. That'll be up the next Wednesday. So that'll be up the Wednesday after this vlog is up. So all in all, we had a good night. Like I said, we really didn't do much. We kind of just settled in at home. Um, later on today, after I edit and everything, Keith will go to work. And we will shoot fireworks this evening. Well, at midnight. Midnight. to bring in the new year and then that'll be the end of 2019 oh my gosh i'm so excited are you guys so excited about your new goals and aspirations for 2020 we sure are we sure are yeah 2020 is gonna be a big year for team Rishu. yep so stay tuned i'll check back in later if we do anything else like go get lunch or anything like that we probably won't but if we do i'll let you know bye hi guys so we're leaving the doctor's office it's a quarter to 11 now eric has a little bit of a cold as you can hear in the back babe is pretty much healthy so that's good um we are actually headed to eat breakfast slash brunch well it's quarter to 11 slash brunch at this this place in the french quarter called french toast is a really small place but it's really really good babe hasn't been there i've been there before and that'll pretty much be our day until later on tonight i'm hoping everybody's having a great new year's eve and um that all of your goals and aspirations for 2020 come true this is the year to hit the ground running and you know just crush it don't give up um it's gonna be hard but don't give up we're not giving up and then we'll be back here at the end of 2020 i hope blue we have achieved so much in our lives so do you want to say anything hon um hi he i mean y'all he really talks a whole lot more than that <laughs> <laughs> um we've just been really really busy i have so many ideas about things to talk about from 
budgeting as a blended family from um, to you know social gatherings and how to navigate that to work functions is that something that you have to worry, worry about um, not necessarily saying it's something to worry about but just recognizing that you know there are misconceptions and prejudices out there regarding unfortunately your happiness with whoever you choose and just navigating that so that it's a less awkward situation or um, just preparing you mentally for what you may have to come in contact with anyway and there's gonna be some fun videos like um, you know who knows more about me Keith or, or my mom if I can get her to be on the channel and things like that so it's gonna be a lot of fun stuff too okay so change of plans we are not going to French toast because there was like a crazy hour plus wait which is typical in New Orleans so um, wait Eric so um, we are paying to park and we're gonna go to this little cute Italian place called Gianna here on Magazine Street. So if you're in New Orleans, it's right on Magazine at the corner of Magazine. And what's the street right here, my babe? Julia? The Cross Street? The Cross Gerard. Street. What? Gerard. Magazine and Gerard. Um, so we, we've we eaten here before. So we like it. We're just gonna go eat some lunch. That means I don't have to cook lunch, which is good. Me and Eric. Eric, say hi, Eric. Say hello. Hi. So, yeah. Issues with the parking meter. So, this is the menu at Gianna. It's really, really cute. Pasta dishes and things. Yummy, yummy things. Okay, so this is polenta with lamb, sausage, gravy, and some bread and marinara. We have some meatballs. Eric has his pasta over there. And this is, wait baby, this is spicy sausage something it's good <laughs> and we have more food coming so let's take it So this is baked lasagna with um, like a ragu really and a bechamel and then this is spaghetti with blue crab. Wow. Yum. yum 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 yum. We are done with lunch. It looks like we're gonna be running a couple errands today until Keith leaves to go to work. We're gonna go get a brush for the, one of the dogs because she sheds a whole lot. We just had the house clean. So we're gonna get a new brush for her and just some small groceries and stuff for me to cook between tonight and tomorrow. Everybody. so we ate lunch and went and ran some errands I've been home for a couple hours now editing um, Wednesday's this previous Wednesday's video so that's ready to go up excuse the mess outside me and Eric are actually about to head to where Keith is 
because we all went and ate lunch today and we left the to-go food in the car with him. Come on! Before the dog gets out. Ooh. Short people problems. They're getting started on those fireworks early. The next time you guys will see me will be later on tonight. I'm going to try to at least film some of the fireworks because you may not be able to see me because, of course, it'll be nighttime, so it'll be dark. But if um, if I can, I will film some of the fireworks that are shot. And um, I'll probably put music or something over it because that would be really, really, really loud because we'll be really close. That will be the end of today, and then I'll see y'all tomorrow, the first day of the new year so exciting so um see y'all later happy new year morning it is january 2nd we didn't vlog yesterday because we decided to have just a relaxation enjoy each other's time day um keith didn't work and i've been on vacation obviously so um we've just been relaxing and things of that nature and so today it's a little rainy here and um Louisiana so I am headed out because I have an appointment I have um, an eyelash extensions appointment and my girl Steffi Mills hooked me on to get an eyelash extensions because my eyelashes are normally non-existent so um, that's what I'm going to do and then I have another little appointment at 12 um with my therapist and I, I didn't know if I was going to even bring up the fact that I go to therapy or not just because it's something that's very private to me but I also think that within a lot of communities I'm so sorry it's really sh sorry for the shakiness guys I also think that within a lot of communities that having getting help for your mental health is has become a sign of uh, disgrace or embarrassment or anything like that and it's not it's not just for people who um, have been diagnosed with a mental issue if you need help for your mental health, please get it. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Please get the help. There's no disgrace or dishonor or embarrassment in admitting that you need some help. So, so I have that today. Keith and Eric are at home. Um, Keith is starting laundry. He's amazing, he's starting laundry. <laughs> And um, Eric is still sleeping because he does still have a little bit of a cold. So um, he took some medicine and he's back in bed. So after that, I'll be headed home and it'll be well after lunchtime by then. So I guess I'll cook or something. We are almost to the place where I get my lashes done. It's called About Face of Metairie. It's 9.56 right now. My appointment is for 10 o'clock. I hate being late, but they don't open until 10 o'clock. So, um, you know, getting there early is not advantageous. So I posted the assumptions video yesterday because it's now Thursday. So I posted on Wednesday. So I posted the assumptions video yesterday. And um, I 
I did get some questions on there, so we will be filming a Q&A video. We just need to get some more questions, probably from Instagram. I just want to give everybody an opportunity to ask the things that I've learned um, personally and professionally regarding um, money management. I use percentage allocation and things like that to, to do my budget just because um, it's easier than trying to do a set amount. Well, we, it's easier than trying to do a set amount for Keith's income. My income is salary income, so it really doesn't change much. So I could, I can and do sometimes do set amounts. Anyway, anyway, anyway. That being said, there are a couple methods that I use for different situations with personal finances and my clients and things like that. So if you're interested, I, I want to do a series maybe um, with that stuff. So about that stuff. So stay tuned for that. Okay. All right. And we are here. So I'll be back with you guys to show you guys the finished product. Let me take my glasses. I'll show you guys how they look now. See? I get them done, but they look a little sparse. So, it's time to get a refill. Just finished my eyelash appointment. If you can see them, they're nice and full now. Jenny did them for me. So, my appointment got um, pushed back. My therapy appointment. I had to reschedule it for tomorrow due to the weather here um so i'm gonna head back home excuse the shakiness if you see any shakiness i'm gonna have to try to get i'm sorry wash my hand i'm gonna have to try to get um a new mount or something for the car i've always wondered how car chats would you know you get in the car and you decide to start talking and you end up <laughs> talking for a very long time i don't know anyway one thing i wanted to talk about and i'm gonna take a page out of my girl steffi mills book if y'all are not following steffi mills especially if you're an accounting student or anything like that i would definitely follow her she definitely gives has very informative videos on her channel lots of advice videos as well as some day in the life videos on um day in the life of a CPA so if that's your goal then but I wanted to talk about that too because I think a lot of people there's a stigma like um oh I have such a glare on my glasses maybe I should take them off or we're just gonna have to deal with the glare but there's this stigma on on um if you go into accounting and you get a degree, everybody's like, oh, go work in public accounting, go work in public accounting. And I have a little bit to say on that only because I don't want anyone out there to feel like if they work in public accounting or if they choose not to work in public accounting from the beginning, but definitely if they pursue a career in public accounting and they get there and they realize that it is not for them, I wouldn't want anyone to feel like um, they failed at their career because they decided that public accounting is not for them. Public accounting is not for everyone. Um, I have thoughts sometimes now about leaving public accounting, not because I hate my job or because I hate the people I work with or I dislike anyone. That's not my thought process. My thought process is, um, you know, I am realizing that I would love to be able to take my son to do a lot of things myself rather than relying on Keith or um, 
a daycare provider or a nanny or anything like that um there are just a lot of things that I want to experience with him and I'm looking at him now and he's almost four and I'm like really um feeling the pressure of enjoying and cherishing these this last year or so before he goes to school not saying that we won't do things when he's in school or anything like that but I'm just saying I want to cherish his growth you know and I want to experience it with him and that brings me back to public accounting right now it is January 2nd for anyone who is not in the accounting profession and does not know, January to about March or April is considered busy season. Um, and depending on the firm you're at, busy season can last much longer or can be much shorter, just depending. But busy season, I'm using quotes because it's just a known fact. You know, busy season in public accounting is very stressful, it's very hectic. My firm in particular, there's a it's a mandatory um, 10 hour work day because it's a mandatory 50 hour work week. Not saying that you won't work more than that, that's saying that's the mandatory minimum. That being said, um, I had wanted to enroll Eric, um, in like a in a more structured school environment just to get him more prepared for being at in kindergarten and having a teacher and structure and schedules and things like that the issue is I live on the North Shore and if you're familiar with the geography of this area the North Shore is about is a there's a long bridge between the North Shore and the South Shore called the Causeway the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway um, <clears throat> the issue with that is his school would close at 6 and um, one if I was able to get out of there at 5 which is not probable excuse me it's not probable due to this mandatory 10 hour work day if anything were to happen between my job and the North Shore or anything happened on this bridge, I would not be able to get to him. I'm sorry, I feel like I have a hair. If anything were to happen to him, happen on the bridge or in traffic or anything, I wouldn't be able to get to him. And I just think that that's a disservice to my son to be not able to do that for him. That being said, it's motivated me a lot to really rethink my career options here. because. And one thing I've noticed is that, like I said earlier, financial literacy is really what my passion is. Educating people, especially millennials, about money and how it works for us or it can work for us. There are a lot of things that I'm, and don't get me wrong, I'm not the female Dave Ramsey by any means of the imagination. And I'm sure that there's a plethora of budgeting videos and finance tips and everything out there available for someone to find out this information. But I just have a different way of thinking about things sometimes that I feel like um, hasn't been said. Or maybe it has. I don't know. I'm sure there's probably somebody out there who's very similar to me who thinks very similarly. But I have not seen them and I actively search for finance tips and money saving tips and money making tips and entrepreneurial tips. Anyway, um, so that's my goal is to just try to take some time and really think and reevaluate what's important to me career-wise, what will make me happy, what will be the best option for my family um, in the long run. I just think that it's time for people to stop feeling like if they don't want to go with the status.
that there's something wrong with them if they don't want to follow the, the the path that may have been set forth traditionally um something is wrong with them i know a lot of people who may feel like you have an accounting degree you know get your cpa work in public accounting get an industry job be happy and who knows i might do that i may go industry and find a, the great a great company or a great nonprofit and and be very content and happy but i know that um I, there's so many things that i would love to do for you guys um for many 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 other people young women in particular there's a lot to my story that people don't know um i a lot of people say i seem like i have it all together and i do not there are things that even family members of mine don't know that i have experienced and gone through that have helped me have just a different outlook on accepting people for where they are and helping them from there instead of condemning and judging if you get what i'm saying and i'm not bashing anyone or anything i just think that there are a lot of things i've learned in my 20s i'm 27 now almost 28 so i'm closer to 30 than i am to 20 and i'm not I, I've not experienced everything in life, obviously, but there's a lot of things that I have experienced in my 20s and um, that have really helped me along the way. So, I don't know. Anyway, so we're just going to go on home and um, it's lunchtime now, so maybe find something yummy to eat. I don't know if I don't jump back on here it's pretty it's really gloomy today um like I said yesterday I took a mental health day I call it where I kind of check out and zone out and just enjoy being at home with the people that I love so um if I don't get back on here if I don't talk to you guys anymore today I will talk to you tomorrow I'm trying to decide if Friday or Saturday will be the end of the week's worth of vlog um if it is then I'll be editing Saturday to get this video up for you guys on Sunday at 4 p.m. Anyway, it's been so great talking to y'all and um, I'm so excited about what the year 2020 has in store for Team Rishu, for the rest of my family, for you guys. I know you're going to crush your goals. I can't wait to hear what some of your goals are. Comment down below and tell me what some of your goals are for 2020. It'll be January fifth i believe by the time you guys see this vlog so tell me what your goals are down below for um 2020 and see how we can help keep each other accountable you know some of my goals are to just to enjoy life you know and to live life and not exist and not talk be a doer you know not a plan not so much of a planner yes plan but not so much of a planner where you don't actually execute you know anyway i'll talk to you guys later have a great day hi guys so it is january 3rd which is friday and i've been super busy yesterday the end of yesterday and all morning today so all morning and all of today so i just wanted to come in in the vlog because i didn't end it yesterday um just to say thank you so much for spending this week with us and a day in the life of your favorite age gap couple hopefully <laughs> um Keith is working right now and I am at my house. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you Wednesday for an advice video or a story time. I'm not sure yet. Maybe a QA. You just have to wait and see. So see you guys later and thanks so much.